न्यू चैलेंज और अ न्यू एक्साइटमेंट दैट आई वॉन्ट टू पुट द पेपर ऑन माई कैन पेपर आई मीन कलर ऑन माई पेपर और ऑन कैनवास सो से इन अ नेगेटिव कॉन्वर्टेशन यू माइट कॉल इट एडिक्शन और यू माइट कॉल इट ऑब्सेशन बट इट्स लाइक ब्रीदिंग वी हैव टू ब्रीद एवरी डे सो सिमिलरली इट्स लाइक या द एक्सप्रेशन इज ऑलमोस्ट लाइक आई एम लिविंग ऑन दैट ओके आई हैव बिन पेंटिंग फॉर थर्टी फाइव और मोर ईयर्स लाइक एक्चुअली मोर दैन दैट बिकॉज आई स्टार्टेड पेंटिंग वेरी अर्ली वेन आई वॉज अ स्मॉल चाइल्ड माई फादर वॉज अ पेंटर सो सिंस द चाइल्ड हुड द पेंटिंग वॉज एन एक्टिविटी लाइक अ नॉर्मल एक्टिविटी लाइक यू यू स्टडी यू वॉच द मूवी यू गो एंड प्ले and that you paint lot of my fantasies were uh, uh, like a visually very enhanced so that was one of the beginning of uh, you can say the visual art world the visual scene with your eyes at the same time you are smelling it you are also hearing the noises so your entire perception is a, all your five senses are perceiving things additionally you are putting your emotional responses to the things that you are seeing so all that is a painting so it could be a waterfall or it could be a ugly cityscape uh, it doesn't matter there is always some kind of emotional response which is more responsible for the painting i would say you see this is a collage of a uh, lot of images i mean if i'm uh, if i'm walking on the street or if i'm driving on the street there are a lot of things that you see okay and there are some exciting things there are some disturbing things there are some uh, visually wonderful things and uh, some things like uh, i i call it like uh, when you travel on a city road there are a lot of things which are like a visual pollution also okay like the politician putting his holding in front of a beautiful <laughs> on a beautiful street so uh, these are kind of disturbing things at the same time there are beautiful things so what i try to find is uh, i try to find my visual pattern from that so it is a uh, you can say it is a uh, collage of all those visual experiences which you have uh, mostly in a cityscape uh, kind of you can say collage yeah the most common uh, um, perception of a white space that it is the uh, area which has not yet been painted but rather than that if you find that it is the area that has been found by painting around it so i consider a white canvas or a white paper as a complete in itself completeness in itself uh, and then whenever i am painting putting a brush mark on the paper i am subtracting that completeness more or less okay so painting is more of a subtraction of white space so that's why those leftover white spaces play a very important role because they they come from the land of <laughs> completeness i am not sure whether i want to approach this as a colorist or as a tonalist so i try to see that if you can make most of the both the worlds you can be colorist at the same time you can be tonalist uh, sometime it works sometime it doesn't work many a times it doesn't work because you are trying to stand on to diametrically opposite but if it works then it works fantastically then that's happiness for me there is no difference between realism and abstraction i think abstract the meaning of abstract is the content of the painting the visual aesthetic content of the painting which gives you happiness which gives viewer a happiness or doer a happiness so uh i will just uh, talk about an example i had done a painting of uh, kitchen utensils okay and kept it in my house so there was a kitchen this side the painting was here somebody walked in my house and they looked at the painting and said wow okay they looked at the kitchen that wow didn't come because the kitchen is there it's a reality but why did they respond to the painting 
because they responded to the abstract con aesthetic abstract content of the painting is what i uh, be, uh, like to believe because i had picked up some kind of aesthetics from that scene of ketchum and tried to enhance that in my painting and that's exactly what the viewer is responding my main objective is color tones and shape and finding the pattern and uh, enhancing the aesthetics in that similarly in abstract the shape is not giving any identification so what is house there might just be a triangle here which is a design element so abstract expressionism is a non objective painting for me and realism is a subjective painting for me but the process that happens uh, while painting is the same for me so i don't think they are two different uh, diametrically opposite styles of painting they are only two different outputs they start from one thing and then divert and settle in different things see when we are painting we are kind of attached to the result like we want this painting to be good painting so obviously we are going towards a direction of creating a good painting uh, what happens in the process there are a lot of in the process dynamics of process i would say there are a lot of things that uh, happen by accident okay so it could be uh, something has gone wrong or something has gone uh, better than right uh, both ways uh, if we are strictly planned towards the result uh, we want to walk on a particular path but i prefer to uh, look at it in a more interactive manner if something nice happens i don't want to disturb it okay sometimes what happens i get too emotionally attached to the painting that my hand start shaking okay this is like my own child and i'm doing a dissection something like that i would say in that in those times uh, i need a diversion which will take me away from that my uh, too much of emotional attachment so there is somebody a wife calling or somebody <laughs> some other person talking to me about some other issue while i'm painting here that distraction will take me away from that emotional attachment and my brain will go on autopilot so my right brain activity keeps on going parallelly but unnecessary emotional attachment is gone and then my action happens the disturbance which disturbed my mind definitely but it was conducive to the act of painting see there is a famous quote by oscar wilde um i have also used it in my book he says he says something about the art he is talking more about uh, all kinds of art like uh, visual art music or literature and in the end he says all art is quite useless okay i have used it in my book also the way i understand what he is trying to say when you say all art is quite useless uh, what he means is not this is not art is not something Uh, you look at it as an object of utility it is not supposed to serve any utility the purpose of the art is beyond utility so you cannot actually define what is the purpose of art so whenever he says all art is useless that means he is not uh, looking down at the art in fact glorifying the art beyond any level is uh, what i think and that's why i use this quote uh, many a times and once you see that everything becomes simple why you are painting what you are painting who is your uh, uh, viewer or whom are you trying to impress none of these things matter because uh, this is the this is not even for happiness this is beyond happiness i would say so sometime i feel that simplicity or less is more these are the ideas which are highly overrated okay i like to look at a black and white painting or a black and white photograph because it has a lesser information for my brain to process so i can pick up the gist of it very quickly if there is a huge painting with lot of colors and uh, maybe it can be a crowd of colors and chaos but what it means that there is lot of information for me to process and if i find the aesthetic in that uh, then that is even more happiness So in that sense I sometimes thinks that simplicity means you have been given uh, just the right amount of and minimum information to process 
and that's why you like it you respond to it very fast so again i remember one more oscar wilde quote uh, like he says that in the life of an intellectual consistency is uh, if you say you are consistent it is a confession of a failure okay so meaning uh, nobody should be consistent in his thoughts and i totally believe it because we are not consistent okay there are ideas that keep on changing okay i am the same person who is responding to the in the same way but obviously ideas keep on changing likes and dislikes keep on changing so basically the transition meaning there should be a change that i feel maybe viewers might feel or not Uh, so honestly i should feel a change in my painting and that is success what i think whether i have changed for better or ch- i have changed for worse is up to viewers to decide <laughs> but basically there has to be a change and i do see change in me change in my painting and according to oscar wilde i am successful in that sense